Hello, hello, hello. I am the Linux Mensch. Those of you who have been watching my videos and following my channel know that when I lo log into my system, I boot up into the TTY and I use Stardex to log into the window manager or desktop environment where I want to go. And when I do my Arch Linux installations and I show you how to use my post install scripts, my post install scripts download and install LightDM as the display manager or the login manager. And my run configs enable it so LightDM turns on when you boot into the system. And I do that for the people who are watching my videos and who are less experienced and who want to have a display manager or a login manager turn on. And like I said, Normally for myself, I just log in through the TTY with Stardex. So the other day I did a video on Ly, L-Y, which is an easy to use, simple display manager or a login manager. And today I'm going to take a look at another one. So let's get to it. So I'm in a virtual machine of Arch Linux with DWM, Dynamic Window Manager. And the first thing I'm going to do is open up Firefox. And of course, the mouse doesn't work in uh, DWM. So my fast key or my key binding for Firefox is super key app. And I'm going to go to Arch Linux. And I'm just going to go off to the side for a little bit. So let's go into the Arch Linux wiki. Let's type in Display Manager. Here they are here. So this is a great page it gives you a list of all the different types of display managers and like i said in my install scripts i install and turn on light dm which is right here and it shows you this is in the official arch linux repository now like i said the other day i did a video on lie which is a simple light easy to use display manager or login manager that you can use instead of like DM or some of the bigger ones. And here it is here, LY, L-Y. And L-Y is in the official Arch Linux repository. Now today I'm going to take a look at empty. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it right. It might just be M-T-T-Y, M-T-T-Y or empty. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, this one is not in the official Arch Linux repository, but it is in the AUR, the Arch user repository. And as another just note, lie and empty are not available in Debian. Not Debian stable anyways. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is, let's go back, uh, let's go to the AUR. Let's type in EMT, and here it is here, empty. Let's click it on. Now there's now there's several different ones here. And normally when I'm installing something from the AUR, I go with the bin one. Because the, the bin ones, and they build and install faster. And I tried installing the bin one, but it wouldn't build. And I don't know why. So I went with this one up here, this first one. Now, it didn't take long to build because it's such a small program, okay? So I'm gonna click it on. And this one was updated on June 7th, just what, uh, a couple weeks ago, okay? So now I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is highlight this and I'm gonna open up another workspace. I'm gonna open up a terminal. And what I'm gonna do is make a directory called AUR. Let's do that with a capital. You don't have to do this. This is just, I like to do this just to keep things more organized. So now I'm going to CD into AUR and I'm going to do uh, git clone and I'm going to paste that line in. Now I'm going to CD into that directory. Let's ls it. We see there's some files in there. So now I'm going to do a less package build. 
I just want to take a look at the uh, file. So I'm going to look at it and I'm going to make sure everything is good and it looks okay to me. So now I'm going to quit out of there and I'm going to do um, make package sick. And now I'm going to build it. Oh, it's asking for my password. So I'm going to put my password in. And it's only going to take a second to build this because I already did this off camera. <laughs> Proceed with installation. Yes. And it's done. So now what I'm going to do is CD out of there. And I'm going to clear the screen. And now what I'm going to do is sudo system control enable emtty put my password in and i'm going to reboot and let's see if this thing works and this one is not encrypted what i mean is this virtual machine is not encrypted and there it is so you can see at the top it tells you what um, kernel i'm using it tells you I'm in empty and it's asking me for a login name. So I'm going to type in my login name is Mench. My password, I'm going to put my password in. And now look at it, it's giving me a list and you have to pick a number. So I want to log into DWM and DWM is not showing. Isn't that interesting? And I know why. <laughs> So let's go into awesome. So awesome is number zero. So let's hit a zero and let's go in. I'm going to fix this. So what I'm going to do is I got to fix a few things. I'm going to open up a terminal and I'm going to go into this file slash USR slash share slash X sessions. So I'm going to clear the screen. And you know what? I'm just going to make that a little larger. And I'm going to, let's do a PWD. So I'm in user share accessions. I'm going to LS it. And I'm going to copy this. And actually, I think I need to do a sudo here. Copy this awesome desktop to DWM period desktop. And I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to put my password in. Then I'm going to sudo vim into dwm desktop. And I'm going to change this awesome to dwm. And I'm going to change this line to dwm. And I'm going to change the second last line to dwm. Okay. And I'm going to save the file and I'm going to CD out of there. Now I'm going to do another thing. I'm going to go into Etsy. I'm going to sudo vim into v console conf. And I'm going to go to the bottom and I'm going to type in in capitals font equals tier dash 132 b. So make sure it's all one thing. There's no spaces and the font has to be in capitals. I'm going to save the file and I'm going to reboot and let's see what happens. Ah, that's better. So now it's large print. So we can see I'm in Arch Linux 6.6.32-1 LTS. I'm in TTY7. I'm in empty. 0.12.1 and it's asking for my uh, user so i'm going to type in mench i'm going to hit enter it's asking for my password so i'm going to put my password in and now it's giving me a selection now whatever uh desktop environment i want to log into i just hit the number so if i want to go into cinnamon i'm going to hit number two if i want to go into qtile i'm going to hit number four and if i just leave it the way it is See, it's showing zero here. See in the square brackets, it's showing zero. 
That's because the last thing I was logged into was awesome. And awesome is a zero. So if I just leave it blank and hit enter, it's going to go into the awesome window manager. Or in other words, if you leave it blank and hit enter, it's going to go into the last desktop environment or window manager environment that you were in. So I'm going to hit three for DWM, right? Three for DWM. So I'm going to type in a three and hit enter. And here we are. We are in DWM. And let's just do an HTOP. Let's see what's going on here. So this virtual machine, I gave it four processors, four gigs of RAM, and no swap. And we're running at 217 megabytes of RAM. Isn't that nice? Now let's close that. And what I want to do is, let's open up a terminal. Let's make it a little larger. Let's go into Etsy. Oops. Let's CD into empty. And let's ls it. And let's let's do a sudo vim into conf. Put my password in. And now you see this is the configuration file. And there's some things we can change here. So what I'm going to do is this one here, line 13. I'm going to activate it, take out the hashtag. And I'm going to go to the end. And I'm going to erase user. And I'm going to put match. And then I'm going to go down to line 61. Actually, it's line 62. And I'm going to go to the bank in. And I'm going to go to the beginning. And I'm going to delete the number sign or the hashtag. And I'm going to type delete false. I'm going to put true. So those are the only two things I'm going to change in the configuration file. I want my num lock to turn on all the time. And I want mench to be in there. I don't want to have to type mench in all the time when I'm logging in. So let's save the file. Let's reboot and let's see what happens. And there we are. So we booted into empty and we can see it's nice large print. You can see mensh is already there. I don't have to type in mensh and I'm gonna put my password in. Now, another thing I like about this display manager over and above uh, lie is that it doesn't put the asterisks in there when I type in my password. So when I type in my password, watch. Now I typed in my password and you can't see anything and I like that. So let's hit enter. So now if I hit enter again, it's gonna go into number three. So you see number three here? So number three is DWM. So if I hit enter, it's gonna go into automatically into DWM because that's the last one I was in. Now let's say I wanna get into Qtile. Well, then I'm going to hit four. And we should boot in. And there we are. And now we're in Qtile. Now let's log out of Qtile. And oh, I got to put my password back in. Okay. And notice there's no asterisk. Now if I hit enter, it's going to go into number four, which is Qtile. But I want to go into DWM. So I'm going to type in three and I hit enter. Now we're in DWM. And now I'm going to leave DWM. Now you remember if, well, I shouldn't say you remember. If you watched my video on uh, Lie, uh, there was some type of a conflict where Lie wasn't functioning properly with DWM. Now it was functioning properly with the default DWM, but I have something in my configuration file that puts the date and the clock in here using X set root. And with lie, when I logged out of DWM, there was, it wasn't working properly. It wasn't functioning properly with X set root when I have uh, the date and the clock in here. So, and because of that, I didn't give lie a 10 out of 10. I gave it an eight out of 10, but that problem is not happening with empty or empty t right so as you can see we're in dwm let's log out and there's no conflict there's no bug let's put my password back in now if i hit enter it's going to automatically go into dwm because that's the last one i was in and you can see three is there now another thing i like about this over and above lie 
is that with light, you had to use your arrows to go up and use your arrows to scan through all the different desktop environments or window managers that you have in the system. Here you don't. You don't have to scroll through. So normally, like in LightDM or in other uh, display managers, usually you bring down a menu with your mouse. You bring down a menu and you click on the one you want. With Lie, you don't use the mouse, you use your arrows, but you have to scan through, you know, and use your arrows that go this way or that way, and you have to scan through all the different desktop environments and window managers that you have. But with Entity, or Empty, you just hit the number that you want. So if I want to go into Awesome, I just hit zero. If I just hit, if I leave it blank and hit enter, it's going to take me into number three, which is the last one I was in, which was DWM. And there we are. And that's it. In this video, I showed another easy to use, lightweight alternative display manager or login manager called Empty or Entity. And I like this a lot better than Lie for several reasons. Number one, it doesn't have any conflict with X set root when I have my clock and my time and date in DWM. And I think it's easier to use because when you're choosing your different window managers or desktop environments to go into, you don't, you don't have to use your arrows to scroll through all of the different ones that you may have. You just pick the number of the one you have and hit enter and you get in. So I think empty is a fantastic alternative display manager or login manager. And I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Now, the only drawback is that it's in the AUR. It's not in the official Arch Linux repository. You have to get it from the AUR and it's not in Debian stable. But like I said, I really like it and I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Until next time, I am the Lennox Mitch.